Six are confirmed dead and others injured in a shooting that occurred here at Trolley Square on Monday. So I stuck my head back out there and that's when I heard what had to have been a 12 gauge shotgun blast. It was the quick thinking of an Ogden police officer who came to the rescue within minutes of a shooting that occurred at Trolley Square late on Monday. Police officers are still trying to determine why Monday night's deadly shooting happened. Even the family of the shooter can't seem to answer that question. The shooter was Suleiman Talavik from West Valley, Utah. He was a Muslim Bosnian, born in war-torn Bosnian. Talavik has lived in Utah for the past several years. He dropped out of high school in 2004. Steven Nielsen was on hand as the events unfolded. You know, as soon as we realized that it was gunshots, you know, the first thought was to close the store in order to protect ourselves and to protect the property of the store um, and then after that it was just kind of I didn't feel that we were in any danger having the gates down and locked and being in the stock room. The Deseret Morning News is reporting that Talavik was a legal alien which means he could legally purchase those weapons. He was also 18 years old, a legal adult. I believe that mall security and the Salt Lake City Police Department responded the way the best they possibly could. I mean <clears throat> within three minutes of the first 911 call they had uh, police on the scene and three to six minutes after that they had the, the gunman down. Police are tracing the guns back to the manufacturer and are hoping to find some answers to how they ended up in Talavik's hands but at this point they don't know where he got the guns and they still don't know a motive for the shootings. Stores in the mall are slated to open on Wednesday however the individual stores have been given the option to open or to stay closed. Six people including Talavik were killed during the rampage. This is Jacob Spurlock reporting for NetX News. Back to you guys.